Okay, let's address the obvious elephant in the room. Uh, how many times were you challenged in your career <laughs> from other people? Okay. Ah, man. Zero, zero. I, so, so I, I mean, it's, it's. I mean, I don't, I don't really know where all this started to tell you. I can, truth, I can tell you. I can you tell know, you. It's, it's just internet people. It, yeah. It's internet people that have got nothing better to do. Absolutely. You know, here's the thing, right? Ken Shamrock and this other guy, right? If they challenge me, the first thing I'd like to address is that it'd be amazing that they even knew who I was. Yeah. Never mind want to fight me. And for me, uh, that somebody would put me in that level, uh, it, it them would be like, wow, my God, it's it's farcical. And the same as Rick Young. Now, Rick Young, I've met a few times. I don't really know him personally. Okay. Um, so I don't know the guy. Um, Did you ever talk to him? Always, that was always a thing that he came to my school, he challenged me. But the course of the years, there's some people that are training me with me just now, that's trained with me for a long time, including one of my students called Vic. And there's a few other people. There's none of these people ever saw anybody that walked into any of the places that I taught that challenged me. And as Peter Rill on the, the Facebook page mentioned that somebody had asked Rick Young the same question years ago, and he said, it's absolute lies. He never came to my school and challenged me. That's, so that's... It's just people that want to cause trouble and stir things up when they've got nothing better to do with their life and try 